this series of spectacular visuals reveal one of modern India's most remarkable railway projects. Carved through the lower Himalayas in India's Jammu and Kashmir, these engineering marvels will combine to form the iconic Udhampur Srinagar Baramula Rail Link or the US BRL project. Set in the mountainous and hostile terrains of Jammu and Kashmir, the US BRL project is a 272 km railway route that will connect Jammu and Kashmir with mainland India. The alignment of the project involves construction of numerous tunnels and bridges to ensure that the railway line is safe and reliable. The central government has chosen this as a project of national importance. Earlier, the travel time from Srinagar to Jammu on national highway used to be 10 to 12 hours. When we talk about the rail connectivity, this time will be reduced to half. Other than the iconic Chenab Railway Bridge, Tunnel T49 is another important structure in the USBRL project. Of the 38 tunnels in the entire project, T49 is the longest. At 12.75 kilometers, it will be the longest railway tunnel of India, surpassing the 11.2 kilometer long Pir Panjal Tunnel. Located in the Dharam Kwasigund section, Tunnel T49 cuts through unforgiving landscape of rugged and rocky mountain peaks. Because of USBRL and these extreme engineering structures, travel time between Udhampur and Baramula will be reduced by half. Tunnel T49 connects Sambar and Arpinchala stations in the Ramban district of Jammu and Kashmir. It was awarded in two packages, T49A and T49B, because this is the longest railway tunnel in extremely poor geology. Package T49B, which is 8.2 kilometers long, has been executed by AFCONS. Apart from the main tunnel, AFCONS has constructed other major structures like two adits, 1.1 km, an escape tunnel, 7.73 km, 20 cross passages, two bridges, and a station yard, among other structures. The tunneling was done using new Austrian tunneling method. For areas with sensitive rock classes, tunnel invert was done after benching. As there were two adits, the excavation was done first, which provided four faces for main and escape tunnel excavation. These were taken parallelly to ensure swift execution. Himalayan mountain range being the youngest mountain range in the world, while working in this range results in many challenges. Because of extremely poor geological conditions, we have faced many number of cavity formations while having enormous water ingress leading to requirement of enhanced support system in tunnels. This tunnel has also faced a realignment of escape tunnel between Kundan to Arpinchala stretch. It's a moment of pride for everybody that now this project is on the verge of completion and Indian Railways, IRCON and AFCONS has significantly contributed for the completion of this entire project. T49 is a single tube tunnel that will allow passengers and goods trains to travel to and fro between Udhampur and Srinagar. It will provide safe and all-weather connectivity with a stunning view of lofty peaks and dense forests. The excavation was carried out through NATM methodology by using drilling and blasting methods. Afghan executed 4 km long tunnel from Higney Edit in downward gradients. We have faced massive excessive water inside the tunnel which was 65 litre per second. We have faced deformations in the stretch of 2 km in the main tunnel and escape tunnels. Cavity formation was a challenge in the Arpichala section which we have crossed by using the modern techniques. In spite of all 
difficulties we have executed 4 km long tunnel from a single edit this is the longest tunnel drive from single phase in usbr projects besides gravity related challenges the execution team faced difficulty in installing ventilation systems inside the tunnel due to its length in another section thick overburden caused rock bursting spalling and popping during excavation there was another stretch that suffered high deformation due to squeezing ground conditions this forced engineers to reprofile the stretch of 2 kilometers in both main and escape tunnel we have recruited 80% of the manpower from the jammu and kashmir we have trained local manpower and huge skill transfer has taken place till date we have developed many locals after completion of this project local can use their skills for their future one of the major advantages with afcon coming into the region and carrying out this project is that it has carried out generation of employment among the local youth it has given them aspirations to look forward for the tunnel works continued under the watchful eye of the armed forces because it was a critical national project and located in a hostile territory surveillance was 24/7 this area was heavily infested with militancy this being an important infrastructure project at the national level was an easy target for the militants we have tried to provide all contribution measures to ensure that this project goes on smoothly there are no hindrances in the initial stage of the project there was hostile environment and dealing with local was challenging we received huge support from local administration and indian army the support ensured that no untoward incident happened in the project today things has been changed immensely there is more safety and peace we are glad to contribute by constructing a historical national asset for the jammu and kashmir people jab hamara project yahan pe shuru hua tha to log bahut mayus the इफकान कंपनी जब आई ने कम से कम चार से पाँच हजार लोगों को रोजगार दिया जब रोजगार मिला तो लोग खुश हुए उन्हें दिल जान से काम किया नारदन रेलवे इरकान और इफकान ने मिलकर और यहाँ के लोगों ने मिलकर और एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन चाहे डीसी साहब हो चाहे जो भी ऑफिसर उस इन दौरान में था सब ने सपोर्ट की है और ये टनल जो है अच्छी तरह से बना इफकान कंपनी और इफकान कंपनी के स्टाफ का जो यहाँ रूल रहा मैं समझता हूँ पूरे हिंदुस्तान में ऐसी कंपनी मैंने देखी अगर कहीं एक्सीडेंट होता है इफकान कंपनी सबसे पहले अगर कोई गरीब आदमी होता है इफकान कंपनी सबसे पहले मैं बोलता हूँ कि 50 परसेंट लोग जो यहाँ नीचे नीचे गाँव हूँ इफकान कंपनी उनको पावर भी दिया बिजली दी हर हिसाब से इफकान कंपनी यहाँ के लोगों को मदद की है Afcon's implemented various lean construction practices and the project clocked in 10.6 million safe man hours. Only because of the hard work of the entire team of the Afcon, the project is going to be complete on time. The remote location and the difficulty of the alignment is itself a challenge for contractors to work with. Afcon has taken up this thing very well. Safcon has proven its metal while completing it in strict time frame. The USBRL project promises manifold development in Jammu and Kashmir. Besides the obvious socio-economic boom, it will bring the communities closer. जो ट्रेन यहाँ पे आएगी और ट्रेन स्टार्ट होगी और हमारा रोजगार बढ़ेगा, तो हमारे यहाँ के लोग बहुत ही गरीब हैं। उनको पाँच से दस रुपए में हम बनियाल पहुँच सकते हैं और पंद्रह मिनट या दस मिनट के अंदर अंदर हमारे जो ट्रेन अभी जल्दी से जल्दी शुरू होने जा रही है बहुत ही हमारे जम्मू कश्मीर के लिए बहुत ही खुशी की बात एज दिस मैसिव रेलवे प्रोजेक्ट चार्ज इट्स वे इन टू हिस्ट्री टनल टी फोर्टी नाइन विल बिकम एन अट्रैक्शन फॉर टूरिस्ट एंड आशा इन एंड ई पॉक ऑफ पीस एंड प्रोस्पेरिटी